How to solve problems involving quadratic function? Know how in this video. So today we're going to solve problems involving quadratic functions. Okay, so mag-iiba-iba yung solution natin. Depende, of course, sa problem. But we are going to make use of the concepts involving quadratic functions. So our first problem is, a ball is shot from a cannon into the air with an upward velocity of 40 feet per second. The equation given the height h of the ball at any time t is h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 40t plus 1.5. Find the maximum height the ball reaches. Okay, so if we're going to draw the situation, so para siyang ganito. So, from the cannonball, yung ball is being shot upward. So, yung, uh, yung path niya is parabolic. So, it will reach the maximum height. After reaching the maximum height, eventually, bababa din yung bola. Okay. So, since parabolic siya, this is a quadratic function, right? So, we all know that the maximum height is represented by its vertex. So, itong maximum height, na ma-reach ng bola is defined by the vertex HK. So, all we need to do is to use the given equation, use it to solve for the value of the vertex. Okay. So, kung titignan natin, yung value ng vertex natin, we have two. Yung H at saka yung K. So, yung H represents the X value, right? So, yung from the origin to the horizontal na distance. Pero yung k naman is from the origin to the vertical distance. So ibig sabihin nito, what we are looking for is not the value of h. We are looking for the k or the value of k. So kung makuha na natin yung value of k, makukuha na natin yung maximum height na na-reach ng bola. Okay. So, to recap, paano ba natin kukunin yung value ng k? Okay, sa vertex. So, we have the formula, k is equal to 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Okay, then we're going to substitute the values. So, yung abc, yung values niya ay makikita lang natin dito sa equation. Okay, so yung a natin is negative 16. Yung B natin is 40. At yung C naman natin is equal to 1.5. Okay, sa substitute lang natin, so we will have 4 times A is negative 16 times C is 1.5 minus B squared. So B squared is 40 squared all over 4 times A. So A is again negative 16. So, simplify lang natin sila. So, 4 times negative 16 times 1.5, that would be equal to negative 96. Then, minus 40 squared. 40 times 40, that would be equal to 1,600. So, we have here 1,600 over 4 times negative 16 is equal to negative 64. Then, uh, simplify natin, negative 96 minus uh, negative 1,600, that would be equal to negative 1,696 over negative 64. So, divide them, we will have 26.5. So, ang units natin would be uh, feet. Okay. Ito na yung maximum height na na-reach ng ball. Now, let's have our second problem. What are the dimensions of the largest rectangular field that can be enclosed with 60 meters of wire? So, we all know that the 60 meters of wire, uh, since we are going to enclose a rectangular field, therefore, yung 60 meters natin represents our perimeter. And... We all know that the formula in finding the perimeter of a rectangular field or rectangular shape na polygon would be equal to 
2L plus 2W. So, L represents the length and uh, W represents the uh, width. So, if we're going to substitute yung value ng perimeter, ang value ng perimeter natin is 60 meters. So, you will have 60 meters is equal to 2L plus 2 width. Okay, we can simplify this further. Uh, pwede natin tanggalin yung meters. 60 na lang muna, pero hindi tayo malito. So, we can simplify this further. We can divide the whole equation by 2 para mas lumate yung value natin. So, 60 divided by 2 is 30. 2L divided by 2 is L. And 2W divided by 2 is W na lang yung matitira. <clears throat> so, if we're going to transpose yung W sa left side ng equation, magiging 30 minus W is equal to L. So, L na yung matitira sa right side ng equation. So, ibig sabihin pala, yung length is just equal to 30 minus W. So, limbawa, ito yung length ng rectangular field natin. Ito pala is just equal to 30 minus W. And it follows na yung width natin is of course represented by W. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to make use of the concept of area para makuha natin kung ano yung maximum na length at saka width ng rectangular field natin. Okay? So, area is equal to length times width. Okay? So, based na nakuha natin kanina, yung length natin is 30 minus W. So, this would be our length. Yung width naman natin is W. So, we can have A is equal to 30 minus W times W. Okay, then we're going to multiply it. We will have 30 W minus W squared. So, pwede natin siyang i-rearrange. Pwede natin unahin si uh, quadratic. So, we will have A is equal to negative W squared plus 30 W. Okay, so... Itong expression na ito, gagamitin natin or itatransform natin into vertex form. We all know that the vertex form of a quadratic function is represented as y is equal to a times the quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Okay. So, i-group muna natin yung mga variables, uh, yung mga terms na may w. So, we have w squared and 30w. So, if we're going to factor out their numerical coefficient, that would be negative 1. So, if we factor out natin si negative 1, so maging negative 1, or pwede natin hindi isulat si 1. So, matitira na lang would be W squared minus 30W. Okay. Again, para makuha yung perfect square niya, kailangan natin siyang i-complete the square. So, kukunin natin yung numerical coefficient ng ating uh, linear term. So, 30. So, that would be negative 30. Kukunin natin yung 1 half niya. So, that is equal to uh, negative 15. Then, yung result na negative 15, we're going to square that 1. So, that becomes 225. So, yung 225, gaya ng ginawa natin sa mga previous na topic, lalagay natin siya or i-add natin siya dito sa loob ng parenthesis para maging perfect square trinomial na siya. At the same time, dito din sa labas. So, sa labas, wala nang numerical na or wala nang constant na natira. So, yung negative, yung negative 1, kung galing siya sa left side ng equation, negative 1, pagdating dito, magiging positive 1. And positive 1 times 225, that will be positive 225. Therefore, mag a din din tayo dito sa labas ng parenthesis ng another 225. Okay. Next, kailangan nating i-transform itong perfect square trinomial into a square of a binomial. So, copy yung negative. So, square root ng w squared, that is w. Copy yung minus. Square root of 225, that is equal to 15. Then, squared. So, square of a binomial na siya. 
Then copy natin yung 225. So kung mapapansin natin, yung final answer natin is nakasulat na sa uh, vertex form. So again, yung vertex form natin is y is equal to a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. So yan yung vertex form natin. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ito rin yung nakuha natin na final answer. So ibig sabihin yung maximum na area natin would be 225. At yung maximum na area na 225 makukuha lang pag yung width natin is equal to 15. So, paano ba nakuha yung width na 15? So, that is W minus 15. Itong nasa loob. Pwede natin siyang equate to 0. Therefore, yung width natin or W natin would be equal to 15. Tama? And we all know na yung length, makukuha lang siya or equivalent siya sa 30 minus W. So, since we already have the value of W, so we're simply going to Substitute yung 15 dito sa W. So that is, length is equal to 30 minus W. Okay? So you have 30 minus 15 na value ng width natin. So, the value of length would be 15 also. So ang maximum na dimension ng uh, largest rectangular field na that can be enclosed with 60 meters of wire would be uh, 15 na width and length na 15 meters as well. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.